Hold on to your seats because today in the recovery room, we're talking cellulitis, a type of infection that people who have had lymph nodes removed from their underarm or their groin are more at risk of getting. Now I know it's not exciting, I know it's not fun, but it is a really important topic and I'd rather you learn it here in the recovery room than in urgent care. Hi, I'm Cancer Physical Therapy Specialist, Dr. Leslie Walke. Welcome to the recovery room. Today, we're talking cellulitis. What it is, why it can be such a big deal, how you can minimize your risk of getting it, and what to do if you do get it. Let's break it down. Cellulitis is a bacterial infection that occurs right underneath the skin. It is most common in people who've had lymph nodes removed either from their underarms or their groin because one of the jobs of those lymph nodes is to remove and destroy that bacteria. So if you have fewer lymph nodes to protect your arm or your leg, you are a little bit higher risk of getting a cellulitis type infection. Now obviously the area that you are at risk for cellulitis will correspond to where you had your lymph nodes removed. So if you had lymph nodes removed from your right axilla, your right arm is at risk. If you have lymph nodes removed from your left groin, it is your left leg that is at risk. Cellulitis will typically most often present itself as redness in that arm or that leg. It can also be associated with tenderness, warmth, and increased swelling or edema. Most common symptom will be redness. So if you see redness and don't feel any heat or tenderness or swelling, I still want you to call your physician or nurse right away anyway. Cellulitis can be a big deal for a couple of reasons. Number one, if left untreated, it can spread to your lymph nodes and your bloodstream and can potentially make you pretty sick, especially if you are elderly, have a lot of other health problems, or have just had chemotherapy and you are immune suppressed. Chances are, if you're in one of those situations, you're gonna end up in the hospital on IV antibiotics to treat that cellulitis. Secondly, cellulitis in your involved arm or leg is also one of the biggest precipitators of causing lymphedema. And sometimes those lymphedemas go away when the infection goes away, but sometimes they can be permanent. So again, if you see redness or feel warmth or tenderness or see swelling, we want you to call your physician or nurse practitioner and get on an oral antibiotic right away. Now again, because the body does not regrow lymph nodes, your risk for cellulitis is technically lifelong. Some people, however, will go an entire lifetime without ever getting a cellulitis in their arm or their leg, where other people unfortunately seem to get them all the time, even though, they, even though they follow all the right rules. The best way to minimize your risk of getting a cellulitis is to protect your skin. Protect it from scrapes, scratches, burns, punctures, or bites. Now that doesn't mean that you stop doing the things that you enjoy. I still want you gardening and playing golf and out hiking and doing all that stuff. Just protect your skin while you are doing those activities. If by some chance you do scrape, scratch, burn, or puncture your, puncture your arm or leg in some way, you're going to keep that area clean. You're going to keep an eye on it. And if it doesn't look like it's healing normally, you're going to give your doctor or nurse a call. Now I do want to point out that when you get needle punctures or IVs in a doctor's office or in the hospital, those are sterile and those are absolutely okay and safe. To review, cellulitis is a bacterial infection right underneath the skin that people that have had lymph nodes removed are more at risk of getting. We want to jump on it really quickly if you do see redness, warmth, or tenderness, or swelling because we don't want it to lead to a bigger infection or precipitate a lymphedema. So you're going to give your physician or nurse a call right away. It's that simple and that important. I'm Dr. Leslie Walke. Thank you for spending time in the recovery room. We will talk again soon.